Hi, my name's Bob Grinier, and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. So what you have here is a 3D visualisation by Tony Giboni of the Frank Polifka wind hex patent. So he's modelled this in 3D, and the apple and sphere that you see there and the line geometry are the O geometry. So the blue lines are the 2D O construction lines. And Tony has now added the 3D structure of O in there. And in a little while, he's going to take us for a tour around this model. And so he's removed the top part where the water and gases uh, go out and then the cap on the top and you can see these dark gray areas they are seals gaskets and so the overall structure apart from the exit at the top and the port at the bottom where the dry powder comes from they are all sealed and in fact the top has this movable section where you can vary the amount of uh, air flow out of the top and so you can control the pressure in there quite well so as we zoom in here uh, you can see in the center the visa capices uh, and you can see that is in the kind of yellow i guess uh, in this view and there is a very subtle uh, red torus in there it becomes a little bit more obvious in a little while those angled inlet pipes for the high pressure heated air with maybe moisture in there. And again, you can see this subtle green cone coming down, which is this Sothic triangle, but represented here in 3D as the cone. <clears throat> there you go, you can see the cone there quite clearly. Now what this 3D model and 2D representation doesn't include is the sort of phi ratio spiral that uh, goes on, but uh, it's not really necessary in terms of defining geometry for a working embodiment. So you can see that port there at the top that he just opened up. Right, so he's now going to look at the how the 3D O fits with the other geometry. So this is from the top. And you can see that kind of whistle knife edge, that sort of uh, clarinet reed. And the bottom part of that is adjustable to change the airflow in. And you can see that the inlet of the pressure steam is at an angle pointing upwards. And the red torus section there, you can see, coming down into the red torus section. And the middle line there, the more yellow line is actually the Visa Capices rep being represented. You've got the outside sphere. And here we can see rather nicely the apple, the sphere, the lemon, the Visa Capices, and the cone represented. You see how it all works. Okay, so this is one of the inlet ports in the plan view. You can see how that feeds into the torus and over here you have it from the reverse where you have the inlet pipe. I think Tony's done a fantastic job here and all of the models are shared in the resource drive. So thank you very very much Tony for doing this work for the community. My name is Bob Greenia and I will see you in the next video.